Hey y'all, it's Saturday. Usually this video would have came out yesterday, but I took a break because this week has been very busy as far as news goes with the release dates of Ghost of Tsushima and Last of Us Part 2 being confirmed and Assassin's Creed Valhalla and the special editions and all this other info that's coming out about that. If y'all didn't see that premiere, y'all should definitely go check that out if you're just a gamer and you're not just, you know, if you just, you'll, you'll love it uh, if you're looking forward to Assassin's Creed. But this video is just about... Last of Us Part 2's file size. So Last of Us Part 2 file size is going to be 100 gigabytes at launch. That's obviously a large file. Most of the time, games are usually between 50 and 60, I guess, or maybe 40 and 60, depending on what kind of game it is. Anime games and fighting games are usually a little less than some story games. But that gigabyte, that memory size or file size, as I should say, does make Last of Us Part 2 the largest PlayStation exclusive file so far this game will have the largest one so there must be i mean there's got to be a lot to it i don't really know how the exploration and everything is going to go for those of y'all who have seen the leaks you have a better idea about that than i do but please don't put any of the leaks down in the comments so we've talked a lot about the comments and the leaks and you know i just i think people should still go into the game with an open mind i mean i understand it's 64 65 dollars so if the leaks really did ruin it for you then i guess don't buy it but i or i don't know i want to say you should try it still especially if you were waiting for it very long but you know it'll totally be up to you guys and because of the file size being 100 gigabytes it will have two discs so you guys that's not that foreign to you if you guys have even played games as big as red dead redemption 2 that came with two discs when it dropped and so the last was part two will have two discs when it drops the last was part two's leakers have been identified apparently according to naughty dog and sie which is just sony interactive entertainment if you didn't know they are in an ongoing investigation they've identified identified the leakers and it is not a disgruntled naughty dog employee it's not somebody who was trying to get back at them or anything of that nature at least that's what they tell us of course none of us know for sure but my guess is that it's not like I, even if you were somebody who was pissed off about because naughty dog does have i think they had a reputation of crunch time which i think a lot of companies do but where you know they got people working crazy amounts of hours to finish a game but even if you were somebody who was pissed off about that, you still had to work those hours. So I still feel like if you leaked it, it would be a little impractical. So that's why I do believe that it probably wasn't somebody who worked for Naughty Dog. Because it's like you still put in all that time and had to do all that work. And now you just made it even more not worth it to you if you're just going to go and leak the whole thing. That doesn't make much sense. But that's all I wanted to come on and say here I will be making some more videos about Assassin's Creed, Cyberpunk, I need to do too, and um, Ghost of Tsushima, which, again, Sucker Punch has not had much come out, but everything that's come out for Sucker Punch's Ghost of Tsushima has been deliberate, so they don't really have this whole leak issue that we discussed with The Last of Us Part 2, but I'm going to catch y'all next time. Uh, I do want to talk some more about Assassin's Creed. Apparently, people are mad about there being a female character, which they were for Odyssey too, and we'll talk about that later, but... That's it for today, so I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.